Did you ever dream to become an astronaut? To wear that suit and fly among the millions and billions of stars out there? I definitely have. What's your dream? Is it also to be an astronaut? Do you dream of becoming the next Neil Armstrong or Kalpana Chawla? Well, it isn't going to be easy. So let's decode the outer space to build the foundation of achieving our dream. Have you ever wondered what's out there in the big blue sky? In the daytime, the sky is lit up by the brightly shining ball, the sun. But where does that go in the night? Does it sleep? Why do the stars twinkle? Are they teasing me about their beauty? Are there more planets like Earth or are we alone? Let's find it out. The only reason to adore the night sky are the stars. No offense to the moon. Stars. Some twinkle and some don't. But why? Are they tired? Are those even stars or something else? All the answers lie somewhere. Let's buckle up to decode it. These shiny, twinkly dots are actually giant balls of burning gas with the temperatures reaching to millions of degrees. That's pretty hot. The sun is a star as well and it has a big happy family. The earth and its sister planets, their moons, big rocks of dust and ice we call comets and asteroids and all the other heavenly bodies that you can see in the sky are part of this happy family. Scientists call these members as celestial bodies and the family as a whole is referred to as the solar system. Let's meet them one by one. Planets. They are celestial bodies that revolve around a particular star in an orbit and gets all its light from that star. There are eight of them in our solar system. Just like Earth, the other planets do not have their own heat and light and use the light of the sun. They revolve around the sun in fixed elongated paths which are called orbits. You can remember their names using a mnemonic. And here is our home sweet home. Two thirds of Earth's surface is covered by water. It's therefore called the blue planet. Earth is the only planet we know so far where life exists, but whether we are alone in this universe is still a big question. The Moon Do you know that it's the only natural satellite of the Earth and the fifth largest moon in the solar system? Fascinating, right? An interesting thing about the Moon is that the gravity on the moon is just one sixth of that on the earth, which means that your weight will also be one sixth of that on earth. The revolution of moon or the lunar cycle has eight prominent phases. But still, you always see the same side of the moon no matter where you stay on earth. Do you know why? It's because the time taken by the moon to rotate on its axis and revolve around the earth is the same. That is 27 days. Therefore, we can get to see only one side of the moon always. It's time to test whether we are ready to become an astronaut or not. Who was the first person to step on the moon and when? You got it right. Neil Armstrong was the first man to step on the surface of the moon on 21st July 1969 with the Apollo 11 mission. He stated that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. So it is for you. Stay tuned for more amazing information.